All right, this is Mr. Superior behind the Clippers, but we took this all the way out here to California. I'm with my guy, Mike Brown, um, well-known barber across the country, not only California, man. Um, so to start off with, man, why don't, you, uh, why don't you tell us your story, man, how you got started, and you know how you kind of ended up out here doing your thing, man. Okay, well, I'm originally from Chicago, south side of Chicago. Um, my dad ended up getting a job out here in California and moved, a, moved the family to California. So that's pretty much how we get out of here. But um, I've been cutting, man, shit, uh, see, I've been cutting for like 20 years now. I started off in the garage, like everybody else. Yep. You know what I mean? Tearing, yep. tearing fools up. Well, yep. Back then, it really wasn't tearing shit up because my era was the bowl cut. So, I mean, you really couldn't do a bowl cut. cut. Yeah, it wasn't too hard to do that yeah. shit. So, you know, you feel like a little designer and then you're good. But, um, I did that for a good 10 years and then finally went to barber school, finally kind of like fine tuned my shit like, you know what I mean? Did you go to school out there or out here? I went to school in San Bernardino, which is about 30 minutes from here. Okay. Yeah. And uh, coming out of there, cut still wasn't, you know, it wasn't shop ready, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I came to the shop and I tore a few people up, but you know, ever since then, man, I, I, I figured out that, you know, cutting hair is not just going to the barber shop and cutting hair. It's a lot more to it, yeah. A lot more to it. And the industry is huge, man. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and which, you know, with that leading to uh, the barber shows, man, why don't you tell us about all the barber shows, all the events you do, man, and, and, and all that good okay. stuff, man. Well, let's see that. The first barber show we went to, it was in LA. I forgot the name of it. But before that, I had no idea that that even existed. You know what I mean? I knew, like, the beauty shows, the runways, and, you know, and all that shit. But, you know, the, the, the barber side of it, I never knew that shit existed. And when I seen it, that shit kind of, like, blew my mind, right? So I went to a few shows, and, you know, I was looking. I was like, you know what? I can I can do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I finally got in one. Nervous in the motherfucker. I was shaking like a damn leaf. And I think I got third place on, on my first one. Oh, shit. I think I, I, I felt like I should have got first. You know everybody knew. I felt like I should have got first, but. What was the, uh. What, what was the category? Yeah, it was uh, a low fade and a beard. Okay, I that's took my nice. homie. And, and um, that's 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 a uh, you're down for doing that, man. That takes some balls, man. Because I know the low fade, the low fade is probably the roughest. Uh, I mean, yeah, 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 it's it more is. detailed, it is. detailed haircut. You can I know, I know it's just a low fade, man. But that's just a detail. That's yeah. You don't want to go too high and shit. You want yeah. to go too low. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. You never really know if you know if you get it right on the money, man. Yeah. And, and so, so from there you went and. You, you went out, go ahead. So you well, went from there, shows, man. From there, man, I was pretty much addicted. You know, um, I started doing shows. I was losing a lot of them. Then I found out the format of winning the show. You know, it's not just going up there and cutting hair. Right. And then, you know, just turning your shit. It's, it's actually a format that you have to do. You know what I mean? You, you can't, like, bring your regular cut to a show. It's like bringing a, a stock Nissan Maxima to a car show. Right. <laughs> you, know, you can't right. do that. You got to bring your shit. You know right. What I mean? Right. So once I learned that formula, I started, you know, seeing better results. So you, you so know, definitely, your tools definitely played the uh, game. Tools definitely played the game, and, and it's just a finished overall look. Yeah. It's like better than, you got to do it better than you're doing right here. Right. You, know what I mean? you really got to do them little details. You got everybody you know? watching you. got Everybody eyes watching you. Man, you lights, it's probably hotter in there. Man. All that. <laughs> and then just the nervousness of, of, of doing it, like, you know what I mean? They, they can really take, take you off your game. So, so, from, so from doing the shows, man, and eventually working your way up to the top, what made you? Because because you do you do host your own shows now? Yeah, yeah. Well, I have um, I had two shows. Uh, they're called uh, Summer Heat. Okay. Uh, both of them was, was very well, very very good. Kind of surprised me, you know what I mean? Um, what made you? What what, what made you uh, go do your own thing, man? How did you how well, you end up doing your own thing, man? But when I do shows, uh, first I started off competing, and then me and my partner uh, we got together and put a product line together, Shadow Edge. Okay. And uh, we do straight razors and uh, capes and smocks and stuff and after a while I noticed that shit I've been doing everything you can do at a, at a barbershop I just go to a barbershop compete uh, do do vendors and all other kind of shit I said I'm doing everything I might as well just host my own right you know? so me and my guy that works here actually sits over there we uh we did a, a show called summer heat and it was hella successful bro I, mean, I was out here too uh, yeah it's in this in this parking lot that building down there and then did another one at this building right here oh okay the, the following year I was supposed to do one this year but you know COVID yeah, yeah, shit. it played a bit. So there's nothing yeah. really planned out for 2020. Was no, heck, just, nah. yeah. yeah, I seen that shit a long time ago. So I already put it out there already. Anyway. Summer heat 2021. <laughs> do you do you have? Oh, so you're doing you're doing 2021. Yeah, I'm doing 2021 still. And uh, what's the, what's the date for that, man? Uh, hopefully June 
June. I do okay. it on June 21st, the first day of summer. Okay. It goes the summer heat thing. So that'll definitely have to be our part two of the episode with you, man. We're gonna have to for come sure. out here and get sure. that, have to, have to record all that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You guys will. That's extremely sure. dope, man. And so what's the uh, what's the vibes out here, man? What's 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 it like being being uh, being in the barber shops out here, man? And um, out here, um, it's pretty friendly, man. You know, you go to some places where it's kind of cutthroat. Nobody wants to help nobody. You know, right. I mean, nobody wants you nobody to come up. I think out here in California, I think it's it's a little different. It's like a melting pot, dude. We got like all kind of like different barbers and different styles and you know you know how I say you, you have like a Philly style or Chicago style a certain right. style California is a little different it's a little mixed up you it's know a lot of love there's a lot of love in there man like, like, it is yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little, little Hollywoodish a little more on the crazier side because of Hollywood and stuff like that but you know we don't really have that one culture like Philly or Chicago right or, or New York might have you know what I mean right but like is, I said it's a big melting pot man so like it's everything out here really is there um would you say there's a style out here right now that's that, that's trending that's not really that you haven't really seen in too many too many other cities either with with, with hairstyles or, or see no or that's, that's what I'm or, saying it's not really like that out here. Okay, so you know, so everything's pretty much it's pretty much the same a little bit of everything out yeah. here and, and, and yeah, yeah. all together. You got a lot of other guys from different cities out here or most of these. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of dudes from um from uh, back east. Okay, um, a lot of um, barbers from down south. That's dope. The southern barbers got their own little. Thing too. What about the competition, man? How, how's the competition out here? Uh, the competition out here is, is, is hella stiff because I done took what I had like to other states and yeah. it was a lot different. Like, you know, I mean, it was, I don't want to say it was easier, but I don't know. It, it was just my expectations for it was a little higher than what I thought it was going to be. Wow. You know, um, I forgot where we was at. I think we were somewhere down south and the haircuts was, was really good down there, but it was just something about how we did it that they've never seen before that they thought was like oh shit right you know what I mean yeah but for us it was just normal like you know what I mean yeah 100 percent man and um and, and so I mean, how much you guys charge out here man what's like the basic how much is for basic hair, basic haircut out here haircut and shave okay I think the pretty much the average out here is like 30 35 okay we do 30 for adult haircut 35 with the beard and anything else is extras uh kids are 25. Doesn't get um like is in Chicago.